Hello, I'd like to share with you my April design team project for Lindsay Zeno, Nevermore Creations. Um, I will link Lindsay's Etsy store below. Um, the kit that I chose this time was Flamingo Fancy. I've done it with a soft cover fabric on the front. There's vintage lace that goes wraps all the way around and a vintage button on the front. It has two signatures. The measurement is around eight and a half tall, six inches wide, and there are 88 pages, give or take, definitely not less than 88. Okay, on the inside, there's a fabric pocket here and some more of the fabric that on the front, and I've added some um, little feathers there on the back of the flamingos. This tag is one that I've made um, with distress inks. And I've also made a little shaker envelope. I don't know if you can see there, but there are little tiny flamingos in there. First page of the kit. I put a little tuck spot in there, again, some vintage lace and a little vintage button and some little pieces of ephemera. Live, create and tell the story. Lace pocket here, um, these tags are from the kit. A little bit of vintage lace attached there. The pages are avocado dyed, so they do have kind of a pink tinge to them. I don't know if that shows on, on the camera or not. Little tuck spot there. Again, that one is from the kit. And there's a little envelope there that opens up into journaling space. And again there's a little pocket here, the pocket is part of the kit. And there's a couple of tags in there as well. Some grid paper there with some lace down the edge. Again a page from the kit tuck spot at the top here that flaps down. These circles are part of the kit and they're really useful, good ideas um, to use them, lots of ideas you can use. Envelope there with a the card in it. Some doily transfer paper there. Again this is from the kit and again the vintage lace there. centre of the um, first signature. Again these are tags that I've made to go in the journal. Both of them. And some more pictures. I looked to find as many pictures of flamingos as I could so if you don't like flamingos this one certainly, certainly isn't for you. Again page from the kit and that one is part of the kit as well and that's just tucked under some um, netting there with again some vintage buttons along the bottom. The kit also includes these, I've used mine at the top, the, the rectangles that you can use, different colours. Lace flip there. Another of the pockets from the kit. So this journal, it does have lots of writing space in it. This one is a, a flip down. And there's also a little tuck spot at the back and that's just a, a little notepad from the papers that I had left over and a piece of the fabric from the pockets in the centre. Again, another lace pocket there. These hearts are also part of the kit and this card is also from the kit and they that acts as a tuck spot as well. Another vintage button at the top there. Um, in the centre I've made an envelope. Um, thank you Tracy Fox for the idea on this. It opens up and it makes a little notepad. Again, the heart from the kit. and it closes so that's just extra journaling space that I've included in there and again a piece of fabric from the front cover. Second signature, 
another journaling spot here. It says there, be original. Uh, this is a paper bag that makes into a little tuck spot. The paper bag I folded in half and decorated it with some washi tape and again some of the fabric. Another of the pockets there, the flamingo from Alice in Wonderland. Again, a page from the kit. Flamingo there, and again, I've put some of the little feathers on there. And this tag here, flamingo, is from the kit. Another of the pockets that come with the kit. And I've included a little, little journaling card there as well. Some more grid paper. Some more of the vintage lace at the top there. Little paper tuck spot there. The washi tape here does actually have flamingos on it. I don't know if you can see that on film or not. Another one of the envelopes there with a card inside and another of the tuck spots with the circle from the kit. Flaps down. More use of the circles there. Little tuck spot. And again, centre of the kit. Um, the ties in the centre of the kits have orange buttons attached to them, sort of an orangey pink. They can be taken off or left, depends if you like them or you don't like them. Journaling cards there. So again, lots of space to write in this one. Took spot up there again with the, the net, the vintage buttons. To do a lot of these pages you can actually write on. A little pocket part of the kit as well. A little tuck spot there. This little band is the one that's from the kit as well. And I've used it in the corner there. Another of the tuck downs. And again, a little tuck spot at the back. I had a little a couple of cards that I've had left over from other projects and I thought they went quite well with the kit so I've added them in there as well. Another of the envelopes. That opens down into journaling space. Tucks in there. Another of the hearts that's from the kit. Again, little tuck spot there. And the back page of the kit. And again, I've put the feathers onto a square of the fabric that's from the um, book cover. And in the back, there's another of the journaling cards that I made, with the Distress Ink. And also there's a, a little envelope there as well. Um, the back of the envelope, there's an image of the feathers, and there's just a little tiny tuck spot there. So I've put a little bit of the leftover doily stenciled paper in the back there. So that's my design team project for Lindsay. Um, Flamingo Fancy. I hope you like it. Um, it will be for sale in my Etsy store later on today. Um, thank you very much for looking. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye bye.